Dear friends, in this video, we will discuss eight conceptual problems in trigonometry. The first three problems are like substitution, the third and the fourth are application based and the last, the last three are proof type questions. Question one, uh, the question is four by three tan square 30 degrees to so four by three tan square 30 degrees. It is plus sine square 60 degrees minus three cos square 60 3 cos square 60 plus 3 by 4 tan square 60 yeah and minus 2 tan square 45 to solve this problem you need to know how to make the table if you want to know the tricks to make the table and remember it kindly watch my introduction video link is given in the description box okay so we need to remember these values so let's me let me draw a triangle so this is 45 degrees that is 45 degrees this one this one then we will get this as root 2 by Pythagoras theorem and this is obviously 90 and if I draw a triangle for 30 60 90 I get hmm, uh, this is 60 degrees this is 30 degrees that's 90 over there this is actually a part of an equilateral triangle, right? That's true. Then this one. Then if I use Pythagoras theorem, I get height as root 3. Okay, so we have our sides. We are ready to, to get the angles or the ratio. So 4 by 3, tan square 30. What is tan 30? If we look at the triangle, tan area is 1 by root 3. So into 1 by 3 plus sin square 60. What is sin 60? sin 60 is to 3 by 2 so 3 by 4 minus 3 cos square 60 hmm. cos 60 is 1 by 2 so 3 by 4 plus tan square 60 so 3, 3 by 4 into 3 okay now what these two cancels and I am left with 4 by 9 plus 9 by 4 and what is this this is 16 plus 81 by 36 right 36 and so that is for 97 by 36 hmm. okay, so minus 2 into 1 that is minus 2 so I can write 2 as what 36 by 36 by 72 right so 36 by 72 and this will give me 25 by 36 so it's equal to 25 by 36 second question so this is cos 80 by sin 10 plus cos 59 into cosec 31 now we like since you get 90 degree by adding these two angles, we should use the identity sine 90 minus theta and cos 90 minus theta, which will simplify this equation. First thing that should come to your mind is 80 plus 10 is 90. Right? So I can use write 10 as 90 minus 80, right? 90 minus 80. Makes sense. And 59 plus 31 is also 90. So this is cos 90 by cosec is 1 by sine right so divided by sine of 80 minus 59 right so this is sine 90 minus 59 90 minus 59 right so I am using the formula sine 90 minus theta equal to cos theta here so what does that give me that gives me cos 80 by cos 80 plus cos 59 by cos 59 and this is 1 this is 1 so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 question 3 so basically we need to simplify this what is sine square theta plus 1 plus tan square theta mm -hmm. 
so tan theta is sin theta by cos theta right yeah so I can simplify this I basically convert everything into sines and cos so 1 plus 1 by sin square theta by cos square theta and I will take LCM in the denominators and so this cos square goes up and I will get sin square theta plus cos square theta by cos square theta plus sin square theta right cos square theta plus sin square theta and what is cos square theta plus sin square theta that's one and in the numerator again we have sin square theta plus cos square theta which is one two poles of equal height are standing opposite to each other on either side of the road which is 80 meter meter 80 meter wide from a point between them on the road the angle of elevation of the top of the poles is uh, 60 degrees and 30 degrees respectively find the height of the poles and the distance of the point from the poles so we have our poles here so let me name them as hmm, abc so this is a p and c and the poles are a d and c e Okay, so the point between them is B and it's given, uh, let's see what's given, it's, it's given that AC is 80, 80 meter, right, and these two angles are 60 and 30, okay, and hmm, that's it, that's what's given us, so we need to find height of the poles, height of the poles, which is, which is, a D right A D and we need to find A C and B C too. Okay, it's given that the poles are of the same height, right? So A D and C E are the same. So I can write A D equal to C E, which is as horizontal, right? And Y as vertical. So Y Y X one and X two. Okay, so let me look at the triangle A D B. Hmm. So in triangle ADB, what is tan 60? Tan 60 is y by x1. So y by x1 and what's the value of tan 60? Tan 60 is root 3. So I can write x1 as y by root 3. Okay. And in the triangle BC, tan 30 is y by x2. So x2 is y by 1 by root 3, which is root 3 by the root 3 goes up. And we know that x1 plus x2 is ac and ac is what ac is 80 so and this is what this is y by root 3 plus root 3 by which is 80 let me take y common so 1 plus 1 by root 3 plus root 3 equal to 80 uh, what's the lcm lcm is um, 4 by root 3 right yeah it's 4 by root 3 so y into 4 by root 3 equal to 80 4 and 20 4 goes 20 times right 20 and so we got our y as 20 root 3 so ad is 20 root 3 now what's ab ab is x1 right and we know the relation between x1 and y we found what's y so AB is 20 root 3 by root 3 which is 20. Now what's BC? Wait, let me write AB a, as 20. Now what's BC? BC again is root 3 into y, right? So root 3 into 20 root 3, root 3 into 20 root 3 which is 60. So BC is 60. We, you can also subtract 80 minus 20 to get 60, right? Yeah, because we know the sum is 80. A ladder rests against a vertical wall at an incline inclination alpha to the horizontal. Its foot is pulled away from the wall through a distance of p so that the upper end slides a distance q down the wall and then the ladder makes an angle beta to the horizontal so that the ratio of p by q is cos beta minus cos alpha by sin alpha minus sin beta. So let me draw my wall and this is my wall here let me draw my ladder so and hmm, this angle is alpha and the ladder is pulled backwards 
so now the ladder is like this uh, like this and this distance is p right we pull it p backwards so and it goes q downwards so that's q and that angle over here that's beta okay now let me find whatever we can find so what's we need to prove that p by q is cos beta minus cos alpha by sine alpha minus sine beta that's what we want to prove so let me try to know the sides like whatever we can know so this is the same ladder right so whether i move it or not the side the length of the ladder remains same so i can write both as x like the length px so what's and let me name them first hmm a b and c d and a a c equal to p d equal to x right because it's the same ladder now what's this what's a o a o if you look at the triangle a o c what is cos beta cos beta is a o by x is cos beta so a o is x cos beta so that's x cos beta x cos beta what's c o wait what's b o first word b is x cos alpha c o is x sin beta and d o is x sin alpha great hmm now if you look carefully at figure what's p p is a o minus b o right and we know the values of a o and b o so p is x cos beta minus x cos alpha right minus x cos alpha now what is q q is d o minus c o what's d o d o is x sin alpha right hmm so that's x sin alpha minus x sin beta so x sin beta now divide divide to so x x x cancels and we are left with this now prove that question so let p equal to c theta plus tan theta and we need to show that p square minus 1 by p square plus 1 is sin theta okay so let me simplify p first so p is 1 by cos theta plus sin theta by cos theta now let me substitute the value of p in our lhs with this value so i am left with sin theta plus 1 by cos theta the whole square that's my p square minus 1 by sin theta plus 1 by cos theta the whole square plus 1 now what's this let me use a plus b the whole square and take lcm so i am left with sin square theta plus 2 sin theta plus 1 minus cos square theta by cos square theta by cos square theta that's my numerator divided by sin square theta plus 2 sin theta plus 1 plus cos square theta by cos square theta now cos square theta cos square theta cancels what is let me write this cos square theta as 1 minus sin square theta hmm. and in the denominator i have a sin square theta plus cos square theta right that is 1 so things start to simplify we'll get what we'll get um, sin square theta plus 2 sin theta plus 1 let me open the bracket i get Minus one plus sine square theta divided by two two sine theta plus two. So this is two sine square theta plus two sine square theta by two sine theta plus two. 
let me take it to sin theta common so 2 sin theta by sin theta plus 1 by let me take it to common from the denominator 2 sin theta plus 1 and these will cancel we get sin theta okay let tn be sin power n plus cos power n so we need to prove that t3 minus t5 by t is t1 by is equal to t5 minus t7 by t3 so i have no idea uh, what i will reach by if i go from lhs to rhs so let me simplify the lhs to reach something simpler and let me simplify the rhs separately to reach something similar and let's see what we get so lhs is sin cube theta plus cos cube theta minus sin power phi theta minus cos power phi theta divided by sin theta plus cos theta right okay now let me group these sin terms and cos terms so we have a sin cube theta and a sin power phi theta and a cos cube theta and a cos power phi theta so i can take sin cube theta from those two i will get sin cube theta into 1 minus sin square theta right 5 minus 3 is 2 so sin square theta plus cos if i take a cos cube out hmm, let me take a minus no no no, no no let's take a plus cos cube that's better right cos cube theta into 1 minus cos power phi theta divided by sin theta plus cos theta now what is 1 minus sin square theta that's cos square theta and what is 1 minus cos square theta that's sin square theta good so let me take uh, what's common a sin square theta and a cos square theta is common right so let me take a sin square theta cos square theta common and i'm left with what sin theta plus cos theta divided by sin theta plus cos theta and those two simplify or cancels and we get our entire lhs to be sin square theta cos square theta so my lhs is sin square theta cos square theta now what is my rhs let's see if we get the same so sin power phi theta plus cos power phi theta minus sin power 7 theta minus cos power 7 theta by sin cube theta plus cos cube theta so let me take a sin power phi theta common so sin power phi theta into 1 minus sin square theta right 1 minus sin square theta plus cos power phi theta into 1 minus cos power theta by I did the same thing, I did the same thing as the LHS. So in the denominator I have what? Sin cube theta plus cos cube theta. I am not touching the denominator now. So this is cos square theta, 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta. What's common? I have a sin square theta cos square theta common, right? So sin square theta cos square theta, if I take common, my numerator becomes sin square theta into cos square theta into sin cube theta plus cos cube theta and in the denominator also I have a sin cube theta plus cos cube theta so divided by sin cube theta plus cos cube theta those two cancels and we again reach sin square theta plus cos square theta which is the same as our LHS so hence we have proved those to be equal LHS equal or just next question I have to prove that 2 into sin power 6 theta plus cos power 6 theta minus 3 into sin power 4 theta plus cos power 4 theta plus 1 is 0. Great. Now I don't know what the sin power 6 theta plus cos power 6 theta is or is sin power 4 theta plus cos power 4 theta is. So let me find a relation or an identity for the, that from what we know. So we know that a plus b the whole cube is a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square right okay so hmm, let me write it as a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b 
that will be more simpler now i will substitute a as square theta and b as sin square theta and let me see what i get so uh, i have sin square theta plus cos square theta the whole square a whole cube sorry equal to sin power 6 theta plus cos power 6 theta plus 3 sin square theta cos square theta into sin square theta plus cos square theta sin square theta plus cos square theta so that's one and that's also one so this is what we need right sin power 6 theta plus cos power 6 theta so we get sin power 6 theta plus cos power 6 theta let me bring the rest of the terms to the left side so I get 1 minus 1, one cube is 1 so 1 minus 3 sin square theta cos square theta okay now let me find a relation for sin power 4 theta plus cos power 4 theta okay hmm. now I will use a plus b the whole square right so if i use a plus b the whole square i am left what do we get i get sin square theta plus cos square theta whole square equal to sin power 4 theta plus cos power 4 theta plus 2 sin square theta cos square theta and our lhs is 1 square now what i use is a plus b the whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab so that's one so What's sin power 4 theta plus cos power 4 theta? Sin power 4 theta plus cos power 4 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta cos square theta. Now let me substitute these two values in our question and let's see what we get. So we know that sin power 6 theta plus cos power 6 theta is 1 minus 3 sin square theta cos square theta and sin power 4 theta plus cos power 4 theta is 1 minus 2 sin square theta cos square theta okay so let me substitute i get 2 into 1 minus 3 sin square theta cos square theta minus 3 into 1 minus 2 sin square theta cos square theta plus 1 let me open the bracket uh, i get 2 minus 6 2 minus 6 sin square theta cos square theta uh, minus 3 plus 6 sin square theta cos square theta plus 1 these two cancels i have 2 minus 3 plus 1 and that's 0 if you have any queries or questions on the subject kindly write them in the comment section below i will try uh, to discuss the relevant relevant ones in my next video also welcome any suggestions on this video signing off madhu cs bye